Forza Motorsport's always been a series about innovation. We always want to push the racing genre, so we've made huge improvements because we want to get people excited about cars in general. The Alps is the ultimate driving road because it's set in a beautiful location and the ribbon has been hand-tuned over months of testing to make sure that it's just the right balance of speed, challenge, fun, and a wide variety of cars for a wide variety of players. Because for a virtual game, nobody's going to get hurt. Since we're not concerned about driver safety, we can go to these epic places like the Bernese Alps and build basically the world's best driving roads and we have total creative freedom. We actually looked at 15, 30 different locales and the Alps is just the most epic. The landscape is so surreal, it's crazy. I mean, these mountains are very different from any mountains you see anywhere else. I mean, it's just with all the jagged peaks. We are on part one of a trip that will take us through Switzerland and Italy as the guys from Turn 10 gather source material and basically inspired by the entire trip. What we're going to do is find the most amazing areas we possibly can and photograph them to no end. We took a really long elevator ride <laughs> after a train ride and a long walk and another train ride. It took a while to get up here, but oh my god, it's worth it. Did you guys see the background and everything? Yeah. So right now we're at the Grindelwald region of Switzerland um, and we're taking reference photos. We mount a camera to a tripod on a panorama head. The panorama head enables us to take pictures in different increments and multiple exposures. We stitch them all together and then we get an HDR. An HDR is high dynamic range image. Each frame that we do, we do it at multiple exposure. So when you stitch it all together later, you can slide through all the different exposures. So you can go from a very dark scene with a little pinpoint where the sun is all the way up to a very exposed image. And that way it gives us the full range to play with when we go to make our sky domes later. We have a pretty long production cycle. So it'll probably be about a year of full production once we get home. So we bring back all of our reference, we start modeling rough landscapes that existed there so they're fairly accurate, but we're not bound to recreate it perfectly as it exists because there isn't a track there. But we want it to be believable, it needs to fit with the other real racetracks in the game. So we create a whole backstory about how the Bernese Alps came to be. It started off as a you know, ski resort and roads were built for workers in the winter time and then this rich entrepreneur bought it and tried to build a racetrack there, but got shut down. So by creating this rich backstory, everything is there for a reason, it's believable. Fictional tracks are a chance for us to really uh, showcase some of the graphical tech that we have in our game. We've redone our lighting engine, and this track in particular, with its very bright snow and blooming, really shows off what our graphics engine can do. The television can only represent basically one order of magnitude of brightness, from 0 to 255, black to white, whereas the human eye in the real world can see, I think, seven orders of magnitude of brightness, and in the real world there exists far beyond that. The sun is infinitely brighter than a white piece of paper, but on a television screen they look the same. Well, we found a way to basically reverse engineer that at full HD resolution on the Xbox 360. So what we do is we capture high dynamic range images of the world, and that gets baked back into the lighting and the reflections on the car, which means the sun is order of magnitude is brighter than a white piece of paper and is brighter than gray asphalt, which basically makes the cars look really grounded in the environment. We've traveled thousands of miles, we worked thousands of hours, and here it is, the Bernese Alps track in Forza 4.